Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Some people love pocket holes, some people not so much. I find myself using them all the time from simple projects to the very complex. I have a Craig Foreman for production work for like face frames and such, and then also have a Craig Jig K4 for smaller to medium projects. But something I'm missing in my arsenal of pocket hole jigs is uh, something that I can bring to the workpiece rather than the workpiece to the jig or the tool. So today we're going to take a look at Craig Jigs R3. The Craig Jig R3 is a perfect solution for bringing the jig to the workpiece rather than the workpiece to the jig. The kit includes the Craig Jig R3, clamp pad adapter, a step drill bit, 6 inch or 152 millimeter driver bit, depth collar, an Allen wrench for the depth collar, a starter Craig screw set, pocket hole plug set, the owner's manual, and all this is included inside the carrying case. All the accessories that are included with the Craig Jig R3 are neatly organized in the included carrying case. Now the carrying case has a built-in uh, depth collar gauge. So you simply put the depth collar on the drill bit, put it back in its uh, place where it gets stored, and you simply tighten the Allen wrench when the depth collar is at the adjustment reading on the carrying case itself. Going to the Craig Jig R3, it is comprised of a, uh, the blue area is composite glass reinforced nylon, very tough and durable as I see this unit going to the job site quite often. The top is a clamp pad adapter that accepts bar clamps, C clamps, and Craig face clamps, and it can be removed very easily by pulling it down away from the top of the jig and the center hole can be used um, to mount the jig directly to the workpiece with a single screw. I really like that feature as um, sometimes you accidentally forget to put a pocket hole in a certain place. That gives you the ability to simply screw it right on to where you need to and uh, get the job done. The two side sliders are for adjusting for the thickness of material that you're going to be using. Simply press the top and slide the sides independently and align the arrow on the blue body itself to the readings on the gray sliders. Um, the drill guide inserts are from hardened steel and they come with a lifetime warranty. This unit is very well made, it's very well designed. Um, it also has two holes or uh, dust ports, one on each uh, drill guide that allows the, the dust to be extracted. Uh, this uh, wood chip relief port clears excess wood chips, it minimizes drill torque and increases the longevity of your drill bits in a, and it also promotes drilling the pocket holes in a single plunge without going back and forth and uh, pulsing the drill bit to clear those chips. Very nice feature I found uh, in, the, in the footage uh, taken for this review it was not a problem to do a, a single plunge. The standard 6 inch uh, square drive uh, driver bit uh, or 152 millimeter is uh, pretty standard with all their kits. Um, they also include the wood plug starter set. I find myself very rarely using these uh, as I typically put uh, pocket holes in inconspicuous places so they can't be seen in the final product. Um, I occasionally use them when I'm painting projects and when I do that I'll put uh, um, body filler or wood filler over the top, sand it smooth and then paint right over it. Nobody knows there's a pocket hole underneath. They also include a variety of screws in both the length and also coarse and fine thread to get you started. Um, I guarantee you'll be buying more but um, this will get you going right away. I've had the Craig Jig R3 for about a day and a half now to do testing for this video and I'm really impressed. I really like this unit. Uh, it's small, it's compact, it's very well built, it's very tough. Uh, I like the innovations they put into it. It's very th well thought out. Um, I love the carrying case. I like that everything has its place in there. Um, it's just, it's overall a great unit and I think everybody should have one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out the website workshopaddict.com. You'll find the form on there as well as other blog posts. 
go ahead and leave a few posts and uh, discuss with other forum members. I'm Andy Glass. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.